35 years after world's worst nuclear accident, Chernobyl dogs are wandering through the closed, abandoned buildings in and around closed plant, they can find food, reproduce and survive. Scientists hopes that examining these dogs can teach people new tricks about how to live in the hardest, most disrupted environments. They focused on 302 free movement dogs living in an officially determined exclusion zone around the disaster site. On Friday, they hope that there will be many genetic work on Friday. Ukraine calls for the UN to remove Russia from Chernobyl to prevent nuclear disaster, he said. One of many writers of the study, National Human Genome Research Institute Elaine Ostrander, Southern Carolina University Professor of Biological Sciences. Other writer Tim Musso, said that dogs generally provide an incredible tool to look at the impact of such an environment. On mammals, Chernobyl's surroundings alone is ruthless. On April 16, 1986, an explosion and fire in Ukrainian power plant caused the radioactive sprinkle to enter atmosphere. After all, 30 workers were killed. While the long-term fee caused by radiation poisoning is estimated to be a number at the end of thousands of people, researchers say that most of dogs they work with are grandchildren of pets they have to leave behind when inhabitants evacuate area. Musso has been working in the Chernobyl region since the late 1990s and began to collect blood from dogs around 2017. Some dogs live in a dystopic industrial environment, an electrical power plant. At first, Ostrander said that dogs can be intertwined over time. However, through DNA, they can easily identify dogs living in high, low and moderate radiation exposure areas. This carried a big mile to us, Ost Ostrander said, and surprising is that we can even define even families, about 15 different Researchers can now start looking for changes in DNA. Scientists said that research could have extensive practices that animals and people can now give. An idea about how they can live in regions of world under continuous environmental attack in high radiation environment of world. Dr. Kerry Ekenstedt said that it is the first step answer important questions about how to constantly expose higher radiation levels affect the big mammals. For example, will it change your genomes quickly? Said. Researchers have already started their follow-up research. Which means more time with dogs about 60 miles from Kiev. He said called a prancer because he sprays. With excitement when sees people. Although they are wild, they still like human interaction, he said. Especially when there is food. 